Hello guys, this is Rob with Tech, uh, bringing you a quick video on how to get a hardware encoding working on Jellyfin. So in my particular case, uh, I have Jellyfin installed in a Docker container. Uh, in order to get the hardware encoding to work, uh, you need to modify the Docker Compose file. So if you go into the Jellyfin website, uh, I know that they have a very lengthy document on how to get this configured, uh, but I know it could be quite confusing. So the only thing is that if we do a control F here and we do Docker, we can find here on the Linux virtualization, it gives you a couple of commands that you have to run before so we can make the appropriate modifications. In this case, like first we need to run this command, the get. I guess I'll post all these commands because uh, this one's short, but then you have to run the ones over here and you get more lengthy. So I'll, I'll go ahead and add them to the to the description of my video so let's go ahead and just uh, copy from here so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this command and i'm going to go ahead and ssh into my omv server um, i'm running an intel i3 3217u it's a mobile chipset so mine doesn't support the i think it's qsv but it does support the va api uh, but I'll show you how you can differentiate and check on yours and see what your supports. Okay, so we're going to SSH into your Open Media Vault server. I'm doing that right now. And we're just going to go ahead and copy the command that um, I just copied from the website, right? So I'm just going to right click. And this what it's going to do is going to give you the group number. So in my case, it's 106. Now, if we go and look at the guide, uh, you also say that uh, if, if yours doesn't support the render, you also have other options. Like instead of using render, you can use uh, video or you can actually put input. And each of, uh, of those give you a, a different group number. Um, so just write that down because you're, you're going to need that for the following uh, to make the, the configurations on the Docker Compose. So what you need to add is this line right here. Um, I changed it to the version, version 3. And then you have to do the group add and then add the little dash and add the group number. This 122, this is the group that the group number that you got from the top command. Um, and also the other thing you need to add is going to be the device. Now, if you look at this guide, right? Like in my case, I only have the in onboard GPU. So I'm going to use this, right? That's exactly how it's here. The 128, 128. But like, uh, I don't, I haven't tried it, but according to the instructions here is like, if you have a second GPU, you have to change the render from 128 to 129. Um, so I'm just going to proceed with this. So I already ran this command and I got my group. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the changes here. Now, before I do that, I want to show you, in fact, that there is actually uh, changes happening. Uh, so I'm going to copy this command, right? Uh, th this one, what it does is going to tell you if it currently supports the QSV or the VA APIs. So I'm going to jump back on, on SSH. And if we run that command, I didn't copy, give me a second. All right, so we copy it. Like currently, you see how it says uh, trying to display uh, fail to initialize. So this means that it's not, it doesn't support it. And if we try the other command just below it, uh, you check it, it's going to tell you, I right, cannot open DRM render. So this is the reason why whenever you try to enable the hardware encoding, it doesn't work for you. So to get this one set up, we're going to go back to the browser to you're going to log in into your open media vault. So I have mine open over here. You're going to go to services, compose file. Now, currently my container is, is running, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, and just going to hit down so I could bring the container down. Close. Now, here is where you're going to have to do the edit. Now, you're just going to go find where you have the volumes. I, I don't think it really matters, but I just, that's the way I saw it on the on the guide. So, I'm going to add it like that. So, here you're going to do uh, 
you go back to to the the uh, actual guide right you have to do group add and then the do the actual number so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to make us enter make sure you don't use tab because you're going to break the the syntax on it so i'm just going to copy make sure that group is like the, the same as port or the same as volume like make sure they're in the same uh line and uh, here he's just going to get space so i can get it over there and remember that first command that we ran we're going to insert your group id here now the last thing that you're going to do you have to put um this other one devices right so you're going to copy all of this remember that the 128 is for onboard and if you do want to do secondary gpu you have to change it to 129 so i'm going to go back i'm just going to paste remember syntax just get it uh, aligned and space over so this should just uh after we save the file it should be working so let me go ahead and save this then we just have to apply changes oh we forgot to do to change the the version just i'm not sure if it works on the other version i know that that one was saying version 3 so change it to version 3 um so just save i'm gonna apply the changes now you're gonna go ahead and hit the jelly fin and do the up now we're going to go ahead and jump back on SSH. You don't have to jump out to SSH. I just want to show you what changed with those commands that we ran earlier. So if we ran the first command, which was this one, you can see that now it's going to show us what is supported by our processor, right? So here you can see that this my particular processor uh, onboard graphics supports this codec, right? The MPG. So you can compare all of the ones that you have here mine is an older chip so that's why it's kind of just simple uh if you have a newer chip you're gonna see like the h265 or, or i think it's h h uh, evc but since mine is not uh, the newest it doesn't support all of those um so keep in mind of what you have in here because you need to modify the jellyfin configuration so you can uh, specify the codecs now if we run the other command uh, you can see now that th this is what you're going to get an idea of what are you going to select on Jellyfin. Uh, so mine is, you look at it, mine doesn't support the IH driver. You see how it's fa it failed to initialize. So that means when you can't use this driver, like in my case, that means that my particular CPU does not support QSV. Uh, but if we continue looking down, right? So it, it was able to find... And initialize the VA API. So now that that is that is ready, now what we have to do is go back to. Um, now you're gonna have to connect to your Jellyfin server. So I already have mine open. Uh, you're just gonna do your IP colon eighty ninety six. Um, so let's say you're on this screen right here. You're going to click uh, this menu, dashboard, and then you're going to do playback. And this is what the default that you're going to find. So you're going to change this to uh, QSV, or you can set it up to the this one, the VA API. I mean, this is going to vary based on the results that you got from SSH. So if, you, if your actual CPU initializes the IHD driver, then that means that you can use QSV. And if you, yours doesn't work on that and it goes on the I-95, I think it is. Yeah, if it initializes on the I-965 driver, then that means that you have to use uh, V... You have to use the, the VA API. So just based on that... So here's where I was talking about, like, based on what the SSH, the command gives you, because let's say everything is selected in here, it's not going to decode properly. Uh, so in my case, my CPU is only works on H.264, the MPG2, and the VC1. Uh, 
um you can enable also this the intel low power if you have like one of those uh low power chips now here i don't know anything else about this settings that's uh, i was experimenting and i was able to get the encoding working uh by doing that so once you change uh your, your decoding and then you set up your hardware acceleration just click save it's gonna give you this message now if after you change you do you apply these changes and then you go to your moves and you can't play anything something didn't work like if that happens to you if you use the QSV then change it to VAP but for you to be 100% sure just make sure that you change it on uh, I don't have right now a movie that requires the H.264 this is just another video that I have in here so this is not using uh, justice you see how this one's just using mp4 so it's not encoding or probably is right it's 264 high but yeah so going back to to ssh remember like uh and those commands you whatever you get here like if you get the intel i965 driver that means that you have to use the va api for for the hardware encoding if yours initializes with the IHD driver, uh, then you can use the QSV. All right, guys, so I hope this uh, guide is helpful. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Uh, subscribe. If you guys have any more questions, uh, please drop a comment. Uh, I'll be more happy to assist.